Good day guys. Um, today we'll be having a full joint on the thalamus. Okay. We'll be having a full lecture on the physiology of the thalamus. Now, go ahead. What do you know about the thalamus, bro? Now, um, is um the diagram of a thalamus, and what makes the thalamus special is the various nuclei. Okay, that are on the thalamus. Now, so that the thalamus is a large ovoid mass of gray matter situated in the diencephalon. Okay, the thalamus on each side is subdivided into five main nuclei group. Okay, we have the midline nuclei, we have the intralaminar nuclei. Uh, we have the medial mass nuclei, all right, um, composed of the anterior nuclei and the dorsal medial nuclei. We have the lateral mass of nuclei, all right, um, that compose of the what? Dosolateral nuclei, posterolateral nuclei, anterior ventral nuclei, a lateral ventral nuclei, and ventral posterolateral nuclei, and ventral what? Posterior medial nuclei. Okay. How about the posterior glue group? Uh, the posterior group is composed of what? The pulvina, the medial geniculate, and the lateral geniculate bodies. Okay, uh, this is a pulvina, uh, medial geniculate, and what? Uh, lateral geniculate is a medial geniculate, all right? Uh, this is uh, the posterior group, all right? So these are like different nuclei, but like uh, where they are found within one position, they are classified together, okay? Now, um, what are the ascending pathways to thalamus? Um, uh, breaking of the inferior colliculus, it terminates at the medial geniculate body. Medial lemniscus runs from the nucleus gracilis and acconatus to terminate at the what? Ventral posterior lateral nucleus. How about the anterolateral system? It's from the dorsal horn to terminate at the ventral posterior lateral um, nucleus. Okay. Uh, we also have the trigeminal thalamic tract, and um, that's the contralateral nucleus. Uh, contralateral spinal nucleus of what? Cranial nerve 5. That's pain and temperature to terminate at the what? Uh, ventral posterior medial nucleus, right? We also have the solitario thalamic tract, okay? That's from the uh, nucleus solitarius, terminates at the what? Ventral posterior medial nucleus, right? We also have the cerebellum thalamic tract. That's the contralateral deep cerebellar nuclei, especially the dentate nucleus to terminate at the VA and the VL, okay? Um, these are thalamic connections. Um, these are the afferent connections of the thalamic, and these are the efferents. Afferents are like, okay, um, the fibers come into the thalamic, right? Efferents are like, um, the thalamic is sending, uh, is sending out fibers to some other regions, okay? So that's the table right there. And um, this is just showing uh, a gross, okay, gross picture of the brain. And you could see where the thalamus is located. Now, um, let's talk about thalamic radiations. Uh, we said that projections from the thalamus reaches uh, the cerebral cortex by the way of anterior and the posterior limbs of the internal capsule. Now, this portion of internal capsule is known as a thalamic radiation. And it is uh, a collection of nerve fibers that contains both thalamocortical and cortical thalamic what, fibers. Um, this thalamic radiation is divided into four thalamic peduncles. We have the anterior, we have the posterior, we have the superior, we have the inferior peduncles. Okay, now let's talk about epithalamus. Um, epithalamus is a prominent um, component. Sorry, a prominent component of the epithalamus is the pineal body. Um, this is a small what, midline mass of glandular tissue containing modified photoreceptor cells that secrete what, melatonin. It plays a role in the control of diurnal cycles, die cycles in body states, and hormone levels that follow what day night what, cycle, particularly in lower animals. This function has been largely overtaken by what, hypothalamus in mammals. Now, recent in uh, investigations have implicated what melatonin in sleep control, um, tumor reduction, and aging. And the pineal is also said to what, uh, be involved in timing of puberty. 
all right another picture uh where uh you guys could see um the location of the hypothalamus like deep in the central of the whole brain i could see how ovoid it is okay now what are the functions of the thalamus it serves as a center for both relay and processing of what sensory impulses um center for determining what the discriminative that's type location and other other details all right uh of sensation and affective all right whether the sensation is pleasant or unpleasant agreeable or disagreeable nature of sensations now the thalamus is also a sense uh, center for what perception of sexual sensations it plays important role in arousal and alertness due to what um connections to what reticular formation and uh, it is also center for many what reflex activity uh, it is center for what integration of motor functions through its connections with what cerebellum and what basal ganglia now what is the applied physiology of the thalamus i would say that small branches of the posterior cerebral artery supply much of the thalamus okay therefore occlusion of these small branches can result in number of symptoms that characterize the thalamic syndrome okay the ventral posterior lateral nucleus and the ventral uh, posterior medial lesions will cause what contralateral hemi anastasia and light touch and conscious proprioception two-point uh, discrimination and vibration pain and temperature will all be lost um, this loss of somatic sensory modalities is an important diagnostic sign for what thalamic damage. Okay, sometimes hyperalgesia, that's an exaggerated, unpleasant, or painful sensation, can res uh, sensation resulting from mild cutaneous stimulation may occur. Now, in some other cases, there is what causalgia, that's spontaneous pain with apparent stimulation, with no apparent stimulation, you just feel pain like that. Um, these stimulus are noticed after a period that is days to months of recovery from damage towards ventral posterior lateral nucleus and ventral posterior medial nucleus. If injury to the uh, lateral geniculate body um, is what a contralateral homonymous was hemianopsia. If the damage extends into the VA and the VL nucleus, uh, the com complex movement disorders can result. These movement disorders can be reminiscent of what cerebral damage, that's ataxia intention and intention tremor, or basal ganglia damage, that's um, chorioatheroid what movement. This reflects in part the fact that both cerebellum and the basal ganglia project to the VA and the VL. Okay, use your phone and check out the full meaning of VA and the VL nuclei. Right now, all such problems occur contralateral to the side of lesion. Other possi uh, possible manifestations include what? Astereognosis, that's inability to recognize a known object, okay, by touch when you close your eye. You know, some things you, you need to like recognize them by just touching them even when your eyes are closed. Um, we also have um, thalamic phantom limb, that's inability to locate the position of limbs with eyes closed, okay. Uh, we have amelognosia. Um, that's illusion felt by the patient that his limb is missing, all right? That's or absent. We have thalamic atheroid hand. That's abnormal attitude of the hand in thalamic lesion, characterized by moderate flexion at the wrist and hyperextension of all the fingers. Okay? So, with these guys, I think um, this is um, a full blown tutorial to the thalamus and the epithalamus, all right? So do stick to our YouTube channel as we continue on this channel. Bye for now.